I really uh, lost someone in my life, you know, at that time, I stopped craving for this success and all things, you know, at that time, you never think about these things. I mean, there's nothing in the life, nothing, you know, even I don't want to work hard. I don't want, you know, the positions, the money, all this stuff might only get stuck with the thoughts with that person. How about you? Miss? Oh, and some of them were very bad and some of them were like, I was sad a little, but not too sad. Uh, and one was very bad. I felt very bad for six really? months. It seems like you're doing very well with like conversations and topics and these types of things. Like you have really good um, conversation flow. Expressions and different ways of saying things like you learn totally different you know, things from each person. So it kind of increases your vocabulary. It increases the... Hi, Mish. How are you? Uh, so far, so good. I mean, not very good, actually. Okay. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you getting my voice? Yeah, I can hear you. All right, yeah. Since yesterday evening, you know, I haven't been feeling myself. I'm coming down with something, so uh -oh. that's the reason. So maybe yeah. you feel a little bit ill. Yeah, no, actually, uh, you can say that, you know, uh, today I went to the doctor and I got the prescriptions and I took the medicine. So I'm feeling well right now. Ah, uh, got it. Okay. So, yeah. so today yeah. you're feeling so-so, but maybe a little bit better after the medicine. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. How about you? I'm okay. How are you doing? Yeah, nothing's wrong today. Just a normal day for me. So, uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. That sounds great. Yeah. Uh, well, Miss, I, I do have a topic. Would you like to go with that? Yeah, sure. Okay. Thank you so much for giving the permission. So the topic is, uh, <clears throat> it's quite intriguing and interesting topics. So the topic is uh, how to get over through a deep, you know, attachment to someone. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So kindly, I, I just would need suggestions, you know, and kind of a uh, piece of advice so that, you know, sometime, especially in the young generation for the people mm -hmm. who are in the juvenile phase, uh, it happens with everyone, actually, I believe that uh, they might get, you know, affection for them. I mean, they get uh, attached with someone mm -hmm. and somehow, you know, the things doesn't work out. And uh, then, then. All of a sudden, some, I mean, the circumstances changes and, you know, the things really, I mean, when you get split up with someone, mm -hmm. it becomes more miserable and devastated for the, for the ones. Yeah, exactly. that's yeah. true. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, you're dating someone or you really like someone and it doesn't work out. That is true. And people are very sad and depressed sometimes afterwards. You know, it's a very hard feeling. It's a hard thing to go through. Exactly. So, so what piece of suggestion would you like to give right now? Like how to get over with those, you know, mm. those kind of thoughts and feelings specifically? Yeah. I think uh, sometimes it helps to talk with friends. Sometimes it helps to be distracted by work. Uh, sometimes uh, you could rest a little bit or stay at home, watch movies or Netflix or something. If you feel like maybe you need to kind of just relax a little bit. Uh, but also after a while, after some time, uh, maybe it's good to meet new people and to try, you know, finding someone else again. So that usually takes time. But yeah. Well said, actually, you know, uh, because whenever I see any kind of motivation videos, all the motivation speakers, you know, they are going to be saying the things, you know, that never works out. I mean, especially when you get dejected, you know, and you are woeful about the things, feeling regret, saddened, you know, all these things. So they, they are going to give you the advice, like start working out, you know, yeah. you start uh, meditating. Yeah. Of course, it works out. But, you know, at that time when you get split up with someone, yeah. I don't know. But these thoughts never come. I mean, you just feel kind of negative yeah. thought. Yeah. Yeah. Especially right after. Like sometimes you can't really distract yourself right away. You have to have time to feel bad and grieve and sort of cry or whatever you're doing, like. Maybe for a few days or a week, it's okay to feel just bad, like sad. Uh, but sometimes calling your friend or a family or talking with someone helps. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. I'm with you on this, actually, because um, at last, what matters is, is your happiness, you know. Mm -hmm. Just cherish the memories that you have created with the person, Yeah. first of all. And the second thing, you know, uh, we, I mean, just feel the gratitude about the things. Even the person was, was with you for a while. Yeah. Still, it's okay. Somehow yeah. the things not doesn't work out. It wasn't in your hand because you know uh, only there is one love that is called self love is so much strong for yourself only. 
Yeah. So you should be thinking about yourself and getting over from the things is quite normal. I mean, yeah. for the time, you know, I mean, for a span of time, it's gonna be so hard for you. Yeah. It's gonna be arduous to to forget all the all those memories. Yeah. But you know, you can you can do a lot of things which you definitely enjoy. Yeah. I mean, traveling is one of the best thing. True. Every people do exactly. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. And, and having your hanging out with the friends is quite quite interesting. I mean, they would never they would already uh, they would always give you hope. Yeah, they, they will. Will. <laughs> you, you know, exactly, yeah, exactly. True. Yeah, they'll always yeah. tell you, "Oh, there's someone else for you. Don't worry. Like you'll find someone new." And sometimes, definitely. Say, oh no, I'll never find anyone. And then they say, "No, you will. You'll find someone else. It's okay. Don't worry." Yeah, that's true. Exactly. So this is something that I have felt, you know, and yeah. I have had the experience, and this these things really worked out. Rather, you know, pressurizing myself, you know, to do the workout. to start gymming and meditating these all the things are being just said i mean it easier said than said than done but yeah. this not the things really or practically working out in the life yeah. of course some for someone definitely yeah. but generally not <laughs> <laughs> i mean but most people have experienced this like almost everyone has experienced this kind of heartbreak yeah, yeah. this kind of sadness uh, sometimes how about you how about you how about you miss oh, yeah, yeah. i mean have you ever had experience mm-hmm. uh, get over yeah. from that that experience yeah i mean some of them were very bad and some of them were like i was sad a little but not too sad uh and one was very bad i felt very bad for six really? months i think i just didn't know what to do next but yeah i don't know eventually it worked out <laughs> uh 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 That's i see bad. sounds bad to me exactly i do understand you know once you start uh, i mean start thinking about a person you know once yeah. you get along with the person so it become it becomes so much hard to you know to just uh, to just forget all those memories that you have had with the person yeah exactly yeah and uh, i mean how okay. can i elaborate those things but definitely you know yeah. is really very miserable condition but yeah. i believe in the time you know time is the yeah. great ointment for you know fulfilling your all injuries yeah that's totally right? true yeah over time it will get less and less painful and then you'll just start remembering good things or funny things or good times and not feel so like attached to it emotionally like you have a little more distance with time like you can remember something from 10 years ago and go oh yeah remember that time like that's it and you don't have like strong feelings about it definitely and specifically you know uh engaging yourself into your own activity that you have been chasing looking forward to having in your life for yeah. example your goals target you know these are the things that you should be looking because at the end you know what is going to matter is nothing but money yeah. your profession your work is tough exactly mm-hmm. because if you do not have the resources you know for providing the basic requirement things to the to the girl or to the to that person yeah. i mean definitely the things would not work according to you Yeah, probably. That's true. So it's better to focus on developing yourself and getting yourself to where you want to be and then you'll probably attract the right type of person anyway. Definitely, you know. <laughs> so for the beginning time, cry a lot as much yeah. as you can because you know, yeah, suppressing all the things is not the solution. Is not the yeah. permanent solution. No. Cry a lot as much as you can and then start being gratified about the things, you know, what you have right now, your parents, your friends, yeah. you exactly? Yeah, yeah. That's perfect advice actually. That's really good. Yeah, Definitely. I agree. Just let it out, cry and then start thinking about all the things that you do have. Don't focus on the one person you don't have anymore. Focus on all of those other things. And also think about what type of person you might want in the future. Maybe it's okay to think about what things were not going so well in the relationship. Uh maybe there were things that you fought about all the time or maybe there was some conflict or you know Yeah but the problem is that you know with the people especially with all the people actually they they get stuck with the things and never you know keep moving with yeah. the stuff that is that is coming in their way and you know and just uh, i mean that's yeah. bad because you know if you cannot learn something new hmm. you cannot you know engage yourself into other stuff yeah life will become hectic for you true and you know it it kind of boring yeah. exactly <laughs> because when yeah. you stop stop you know learning the things you cannot mm. do something gigantic in your life i mean in a in a very creative and a different way to be yeah yeah you can exactly. get stuck in the same place and just not learn anything and not gain any new experiences that's true so all in all i do like to say that only one thing 
that I have ever felt is that uh, believe in yourself, love yourself. Mm-hmm. I mean, never expect anything. You know, to just be yeah. with you for all the times. Yeah. If you start anticipating all the things, you know, because it's a life. It's a roller coaster. You know, <laughs> nothing would happen according to your own choice. Mm, true, and it so doesn't start embracing it. Like- it doesn't always get better all the time. There are ups and downs the whole way. So exactly, exactly, exactly. You know what happens is that when I really, uh, you know, lost someone in my life, you know, at that time I stopped craving for this success and all things. You know, at that time you never think about these things. I mean, there's nothing in the life, nothing. You know, even I don't want to work hard. I don't want you know the positions, the money, all this stuff. Mind only get stuck with the thoughts with that person. Mm-hmm. with you <laughs> because it, yeah. it really happened with me actually sometimes i mean yeah sometimes you lose focus like you lose your perspective when you lose yourself a little bit so that's something you need to correct because if you don't remember what you want and what you need then you're sort of just drifting around not knowing what to do next kind of yeah it happens yeah but but oh but over the time pass you know time has a very very beautiful thing i mean yeah. it's really Changes the circumstances, whether it's a bad or a good. Yeah, you know? true. That's exactly. True. So that, that's that's that's, a, that's the biggest change. solution. Yeah, you can always expect change around the corner, whether it's a surprise like COVID or something else. You never know what's going to happen. Definitely, definitely. I couldn't agree more yeah, on this. Great. Seems like you're doing very well with like conversations and topics and these types of things. Like you have really good um, conversation flow. So maybe you've really. Been nice. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. You know, uh, exactly. I, I do love making the conversation with the topics because, you know, yeah. I'm getting only 15 minutes here. So yeah. I do have to make a very productive and efficient communication skills. I mean, it's not about English language. Furthermore, you know, it's all about way or art of, you know, making the conversation with someone. That's what I love meeting or interacting with different people all the times. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, particularly, you know, making conversation with the native speaker is something that it always fascinates me a lot. I yeah. don't know why, because I'm learning the new culture. You know, it's not about the language yeah, only. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, and expressions and different ways of saying things, like you learn totally different, you know, things from each person. So it kind of increases your vocabulary. It increases the what's going in your head, you know. Exactly, exactly. And definitely I'm into English communication. Like I use a lot of vocabs at the same time, phrases. And, you know, how actually the native speakers are using I try to emulate all those things and stuff, you know, so I can be the best version of myself yeah. to be, a, I mean, like a coherent or eloquent speaker. Exactly. Perfect.